Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, introducing you to some other things. It's not always just about hip hop. It's not always just about R and B. Sometimes it's about things happening around the world. And uh, I had the pleasure of meeting a man. I'm going to introduce you all to um, through a friend of mine by the name of Jerry Wonder. Um, and then I was exposed to the fact that this guy had like hundreds of millions of YouTube views. Is the, am I? Overstating the number of, or <laughs> understating the number? You, well, you, man, you're being good, man. <laughs> <laughs> His we, name uh, is. Uh, we stopped at a hundred million. Oh, we're, that's, we're we're starting from there. So. So everything over a hundred million is man, all right. Amazing, well, his name man. is Alex Boyer. Give it up for Alex Boyer. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, Alex. Man, dreamed of this moment for a long time, I tell you that. But yeah. we, we were watching the videos in our studio, and they are amazing. Wow. No, they were really amazing. I was like, what? I mean, they're like, each video is like a movie. Yeah, that was the idea, you know? And I, then you had these <laughs> children with uh -huh. these beautiful voices. Where did you find these kids? I found them in Utah. <laughs> Just randomly. Well, you know, I've known the director for a while. And, uh, you know, I just had a couple of ideas. I always wanted to try things. It's from the Michael Jackson era, man, when he used to do music videos and they all had stories mm. and all kinds of just different things. But I didn't have the type of budget that MJ had. So I just, you know, pulled favors and used friends and worked at McDonald's for a while and, you know, tried to uh, see what come up. So. But those videos are not McDonald's budget money. No. Well, you know what? Here's you thing, have a right? video. You have a video. So for the people watching, his yeah. name is last name is spelled B O Y E. Yeah. First name Alex. You can go look him up. You literally you covered uh what was it the fro the Frozen yeah. song? Yeah. yeah. Is that the official name of the song? Yeah. Frozen let let song? it go. Frozen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you have this beautiful little girl singing yeah. and children uh, other children also singing in this and you're walking through ice cave just like yeah. the video. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you use your own creative freedom to make yeah, it something else. Absolutely, because there was this ice caves that they they had in 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 Utah, and it just looks amazing. And mm. someone else shot a video there, a girl called Lindsay Sterling, and uh, she's signed by with John Legend's management now. Okay. And so anyway, I I'd always coveted that that view, so I, I looked at it and they they gave me permission. I got all these kids, and actually, what people don't know is I'm just I don't really say this, but I actually shot that music video for $1,500. What? <laughs> and people don't believe me. And I'm like, let me tell you, I found a, a videographer at a wedding. Mm. And I was watching, you know those wedding reception videos where everyone just stands and you see them, you know, yeah. the grad and the groom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, all kinds of stuff in college, grown up, you know, all that stuff. So I was looking at this wedding video and I was like, who is that guy? I went to him and said, have you ever done music videos? He's like, no. I said, would you like to do one? He said, yeah. So three weeks later, there it is and now then it was on YouTube and it's got like 46 million hits and stuff like that. Do you direct the video also? Yes, yes, I direct it and, and kind of just, uh, you know, let other people who, are, who do what they do, let them do what they Even do. Even the costumes were amazing. We had a, we had a company uh, called Coco Blush and they came and did everything for free. So it was crazy, you know. <laughs> Sometimes they, you know, there are a lot that of good video, people out there, man. <laughs> th this, this video that we're talking about um, has 46 million views yes yes sir you know what's insane i mean then then it went on i think it was like perez hilton that picked it up then ryan seacrest started playing it and then it was on jimmy fallon wow. then it was on like good morning america queen latifah i was like what's going on man <laughs> i just did this for a joke i actually did it for my daughter she's four years old i was away for two weeks i came back home and she started singing you know the first time you hear your kids singing you're like what this is so weird because she was just is she, is she can sing like you no <laughs> No, with Does it run in the like, family? Well, no, but I don't know. She, yeah, there was something. I just saw a spark. And then she was singing that Frozen song. She could not stop. I'm like, what's this song, man? And so, of course, I saw it. And then I was like, you know, how cool it would be if I had kids singing that song? Because kids all over the world seem to love of that course, song. Of course, yeah. So I just did it for a joke for my daughter. Mm. And here we go. Here I am here, Hot 97. Well, I, I wanted to, I wanted you to come up because I think that, you know a lot of times we get trapped in our little bubble okay. right here, not only here in America but in hip hop and R and B, right? right? So I, every now and then I try to take a, a leap out just to expose music. Wow. Um, and I wanted people to see and hear you not only because vocally, you know, amazing, but also your story, right? So where right. are you from? I'm originally from London, England. My family's from Nigeria. I'm from London, England. Uh, when I was uh, 11 years old, my mom moved to Nigeria. She was uh, actually planning to just go for about three weeks. 
And uh, she ended up being there for eight years. She put me in boarding school in England. Mm. You've seen Harry Potter, right? Yeah. Yeah, I went to that type of boarding school, but without the moving floorboards and the yeah. lanterns and stuff. You know? <laughs> so I went to that school. I was there for like about eight, nine years. I used to look up in the sky and see a plane and think that's going to be my mum. Eight mm. year le- years later, I just you know never saw her. And I, basically, that boarding school raised me. And then I used to live with an uncle um, uh, during the vacation times. He, you know, he, he was always drunk and all kinds of things and drugs, the whole thing. And so, you know, anyway, cut long story short, I left there. He kicked me out of the house. I was homeless uh, for a little while. So, you know, I was going to college, uh, going to boarding school, uh, and then I was homeless at the same time. Mm. So it was really, really weird. But, you know, you start fending for yourself. You have to just, you know, find your way through. Yeah. And luckily I met people because it could have gone either way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When, people, when, you're, when you're down like that, you meet certain people and you just follow what they're doing. And so I still look to this day, I don't know how I didn't end up where, you know, many of my friends ended up, but I met the right people and uh, somehow they just kind of taught me people, even people on the streets were just teaching me, keep your head up, keep going. People were even worse than me, Right. you know? At least, you know, at least I could, I actually had a job. I was homeless and had a job working in McDonald's. Mm. But these people that are telling me to keep my head up on the streets of London, they had nothing, nothing. And so, you know, I, God just led me to the right people. It must have been. So anyway, you know, um, so, yeah, I ended up, uh, I've, my dream was always to come to America. And there was a, I was always watching those TV shows, you know what I mean? Like B.A. Baracus and all that stuff. The 18. <laughs> yeah, stuff, you know? Ain't going to play, fool. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't going to play, fool. Yeah. Man, I, I was, I think I was, it, it's so weird because I became a U.S. citizen uh, February the 22nd. Wow. And it was really weird. I always felt I was American. I don't. I know I talk weird, and people look at me. This guy is weird. But when I was in England, I just always felt out of place. I don't. My English people gonna kill me now. <laughs> I always felt out of place because I was. I was always. I don't know. More vibrant and and excited and just. Just. I yeah, don't know. That, that I don't know. Just, that might also. A lot of times we don't appreciate where we're from because we're yeah, from there. We that's take it exactly for granted. It. Yeah. And, grass and, and we grass. We think, oh, it's so amazing yeah. over there. And you get there, you be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so bad. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, seriously. I mean, you know, now it's so funny. Now that I've been in the US, I've been there for 14 years. You know, you appreciate so much more about your home, about England yeah. and everything. But even still, I just can't take for granted all the blessings, all the things that's happened to me since I've been in the US and people that stepped in to help me and assist me when I'm like, why are you doing this for me? Why I don't understand, you know? And people just like, yeah, we just want to, you know, we just want to help. You find the right people. And so it's been a great blessing. You know, so how here. did you link up with Jerry Wonder? Let me tell you, man, um, that that's, that's one of those big dream things, big bucket list things. You know, I used to do karaoke like back in the day and I used to do all his songs. And I didn't even know it. My manager said to me, you know, who is it that you would love to work with? And I said, I want to work with Jerry Wonder. And he looked at me like, you know what I mean? Like you're trying you're saying you want to do a perform you want to do a duet with Santa Claus. You know what I mean? It yeah, just like yeah, didn't yeah. make sense. <laughs> He's looking at me like, that's impossible, man. And I'm like, nothing's impossible, man. You know what? I, seriously, I'll be eating tr- food out of trash cans mm. on the street. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, let's and, go for it. Yeah, let's exactly. You know, and I'm not doing that anymore. So that was impossible. So if I could, Jerry, I want to meet Jerry Wonder. And he's like, what? Well, I don't know. He didn't even know him. And so he called up some people. And finally, I ended up in New York. I sat in his office. I think I waited for like, you know, it must have been about six, seven hours. I didn't care. <laughs> Uh, why are you laughing? Is that yeah, Jerry, <laughs> Jerry will leave people in He's that so lobby big, yeah. for two days. No, seriously, it's like a chain gang. <laughs> Everyone just waiting to meet Jerry, man. It's crazy because everybody wants a piece of this man because they know when they get a piece of him, right, they start moving forward. They, can't, they start moving and shaking. I was like, I don't care how long I'm going to be here. I'm not leaving until I see Jerry. Well, I didn't say that. You know, you sit there and you're right, silent. Right, right. And everything, you know what I mean? Like, Hi, hello. For seven hours you <laughs> right? waited. Yeah, and then finally I had... I think it was about five minutes with him. And in that five minutes, he played me some songs and I'm just like, then he showed me this video of all the stuff that he'd done. And it was all the songs I used to sing in karaoke. He was the one that produced and I didn't even know it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, this is God's thing, man. You know what I mean? So here we are today. He sent me here and I'm just I'm just blessed, man. See, I, I don't allow Jerry Wonder to talk. He yeah, yeah. Get to talk. <laughs> All he does, he can only play instruments. You're That's right. It. You're not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, I brought you up today because I wanted you to, Alex, for the world, 
in in our world. I mean, the wow. world is a lot of the world is already exposed to you. Are you doing things in in London in Africa? Are you traveling back to these places yet? I'm telling you, yes, yes. You know, I went to Ghana. I shot a music video out in Ghana, and um, I've been to England. In fact, I performed at the Royal Albert Hall, which is a place mm. I used to walk around when I was homeless. And I said, look at that building. I said, one day I'm gonna perform in there. Amazing. And 20 years later. I, I went on stage. I, it was actually really random. I opened up for Olivia Newton-John. Really <laughs> random, right? So I turned up there. I went on stage and I just started bawling. I just started crying. And people must have been, what the, what's going on with this guy? And I said, before I sing, I've got to tell you something, man. I said, there's a trash can outside and it's still there. And it's got my name etched in it. I said, I used to eat food out of that trash can. And I used to look at the Royal Albert Hall and say, one day I'm going to perform mm -hmm. there. I said, ladies and gentlemen, dreams come true man because I'm standing right here now and I'm the one that ate food from that trash can and here I am on stage I said don't give up on your dreams people man don't give up on you. even That's when everyone amazing. else has man I'm telling you I can't believe it I just, <laughs> I, I, it just makes me go crazy every time I think about that story man so yeah I've been to England a few times mm -hmm. and oh, this this YouTube stuff nobody wanted to sign me man Nobody, everyone was like, Yo, you're too old, you're too black, you're too this, you're too that, you're too spiritual, you're too this, you're too that, everything. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to DIY, man. Do it yourself. Yeah. And so that YouTube man's godsend. That's what opened up all the doors. Now people are calling. You know what I mean? People, the same people I used to call. They're calling you now. They're calling, calling you. Now. That's not the best thing in the world, man. Wow! So, you know what I'm saying? Alex Boyer. Ladies and gentlemen, we tried, like I promised you when we started yeah. this thing with Alex Boyer today. I, I yeah. told you we was going to do something new. We got Jerry one day and you see what's yeah. happening. Jerry, yeah. calm down, man. It's about Alex. <laughs> If you don't know, uh, the man you're looking at with the bass guitar is uh, responsible for a lot of great hip hop. Um, do you want to run down your resume or you want you want me to run it down? Please, right? You said I'm not allowed to say anything. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want you to talk. But go ahead, run down your resume for Run it. What do I do? I'm going to talk about some, the Fuji's album. The, the <laughs> oh, Santana, this. Maria Maria, uh, Shakira, Shakira. Oh, Mary J. Blige, what? Uh, oh, John yeah. Legend Records. Oh, my um, God. What up? What I leave out, artist? You guys said oh, Justin Bieber. Though. Oh, Justin. Justin oh, yeah. You guys, you know. What well, was it? it was baby, it. right? Uh, <laughs> what was the name of the song? Like the biggest song Justin Bieber ever had. You <laughs> well, smile. Well, we, oh, smile. That's what it was. We did, we did you smile. When you said the Fugees, uh, it just take me back to uh, my father's basement in East Orange, New Jersey. You know the Brick City. We got clap for it. All right. All right. You know, we definitely so. and all the Haitian <laughs> masses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, Sac <laughs> Yeah, so that's where it all started. You know what I mean? Now, now I gotta speak closer to the microphone. So let me move that bass. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, there he's, he's stunting on us right, right now. You know what I'm, I'm just saying. So, um, you know, I, 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 with music, like I said, music changed life. You know, when when I met Alex, it reminded me from the beginning. Came from a third world country and got to somehow got a. I didn't get on a boat to get here. I was in, but I did. I think I was in a plane. And I, came <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it was. But um, it's it's a blessing to be in the room with all you know. We you he, you know what I'm saying invite me and Alex in here and doing this. And I've done a lot of work. All the name you saying is great, but it's what I'm doing today. That's, That's right. very important to me. You know what I mean? Alex Boy and a, a lot of other projects I'm I'm working on right now. So um, even um, last night I got a call from. Um, at El Cool J. He, he's all the way in, 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 in France. Yeah. In Paris. I'm jumping on the plane, Jerry. I got to see you. I'm well, like, yo. LL wants you to work with him now. Oh, uh, yeah. I just did a record with, with him, with uh, Movado. Yeah. LL Cool J and Movado. Yes, yes. Actually, yes. Mm. I Interesting. Yes, Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Uh, yeah. I got to hear what that sounds but, like. But you know what? I, I, it's, I really didn't want to play it for you. To I don't want to play it for you till you come to platinum. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right so let's get but back to Alex Boyer. Alex. Yeah. So you're getting distracted, Jerry. Oh, come on, let's focus. Let's get into this Alex Boyer thing. Man. But you know the thing is, Jerry's never about one thing. You know what I'm saying? Alex I know. I, that. So you see, so, guys, so, so. ladies and gentlemen, you see why I keep him off the microphone. You yeah. see? You see? <laughs> we brought you in here to play the song. <laughs> Which song you want to play? Alex Boyer, the one. Alex Boyer. Which song you want to play? You know, making lemons out of lemonade. How about that? The one? new single, yeah. man. The new No, we got we got too many singles. How many yo, records you want to do right yeah, now? I true. Yo, we're talking. Don't make yo, me call your bluff. Can we do? Don't make me call your bluff. Don't do that. He got it. No, you know I got I got. Yo, you know. All I right, so the one. floor is yours. Do what you want to do. Then. Okay, I saw yours. Go ahead. Come on. 
Yeah. Yeah, they wonder. Wonder music. Uh, one and two. Uh, three, let's go. I'm just a broke, you won't believe. Can't get a dollar out of me. And as far as I can see, I'm losing control of the bad disease. No, I just can't get relief. I've been shot down by the life police. And every day I try to rise, I just can't succeed. Can anybody find a cure for me? You can be better, better, better. Or you can be better, better, better. When life gives you lemon, it's not a champagne. Don't worry, really little children. And don't complain. Whoa, remember your golden. So find some sugar cane. When life gives you lemons, take lemon day. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a K, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a K, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a K, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, and every day is like a brand new year. I throw my hands up in the air like I just don't care. I'm on walking down the streets feeling like oh yeah, and like the bottom of the glass now I see clear. So now I laugh just a little more. <laughs> Stand taller than I did before. <laughs> I'm not where I used to be, but I thank God that I'm not where I used to be. I used to be bitter, 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 but now I feel better, better, better. When life gives you lemons, you instead of champagne, yeah. don't worry, little children, yeah. and don't you complain. Whoa, remember your golden, so find some sugar cane. What you gonna do? You make lemonade! Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I was saved for a reason that I can explain. Got something you to believe in. I'm awakened again. Oh yeah! So many miracles are happening each day. If I could just get out of my own way. So when life give you lemons? Champagne. Don't worry, little children, and don't complain. Whoa, remember your golden. So find some sugar cane. When I give you lemons, break it down. Make lemon, la 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 lemonade, 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 la lemonade, la 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 lemonade, lemon, lemon. Champagne, don't worry, little children, and don't you complain. Whoa, remember your golden, so find some sugar cane. Uh, when life gives you lemons, you got to make lemonade. Yeah. 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 Yeah.